Hello again, my friends. Welcome to the mystery. Did you know there's a dog in Blender? Did you know that there's hotel rooms in Blender? Secrets? Things that maybe they don't want you to know about? Well, let's get into it. No matter how many times I open the software, no matter how many hours I grind away, there's always new things to either learn or make me feel stupid. Usually the latter. Today is both amazing and makes me feel stupid because I never quite realized something. You ever click over from the layout tab? Like in layout, you got your nice grid, scrolling around, everything's groovy, you know what's up. You go over to graph editor, grid, UV, grid, texture, grid, animation, grid. Yet when you go over to shading, it's like this weird blurry mess. I never paid much mind to it, so I just kind of took it as it was. A weird kind of metallic thing. I'm sure that it had some sort of lighting feature, but I never really appreciated what, what it was until today when I learned that there's a mystery inside of Blender. That's right. When you're actually in here, it makes more sense than I ever would have paid attention to. It's kind of obvious. It's an HDRI. It's back there. It's lighting for the shading tabs, so that way you can see, and it's just kind of a built-in HDRI so you don't have to worry about it. I think that's pretty cool. But then there's a little thing I never clicked. There's so many buttons in Blender to click. I don't just click on random things because I feel like clicking, but there's a secret tab up here. A little drop-down menu. Pops up, just says shading. What could that be? You go in, strength, opacity, blur. And this is when the discovery that blew my mind took place. When I cranked down the blur, what did I find? Holy shit, it's not just a weird metallic oil painting. It's a picture. It's not HDRI-like. It's a fucking HDRI. It's blurry, but it's in there. I'm sure it's blurry because it's just a super, super low resolution one just to save space, but so it's like, oh, we got this outside office building. What is this, a helipad? That's pretty freaking dope. What we got here? We got, we got some sort of uh, hotel. I wouldn't want to turn on a black light in that hotel. Blender sex. What else they got in here? A little studio. Got an outdoor scene. I'm pretty sure this is where Brad Pitt killed Kevin Spacey at the end of Seven. Give me your gun. Come on over there. Is this HDRI the place where Brad Pitt killed Kevin Spacey in Seven? This started as a joke, but holy shit, I think. Research. I realized they start looking familiar. I know this one. It's from HDRI Haven. I was like, that's fascinating. It's like. Ain't got a cool little people scene out in the ocean. Who knows where this is at? But then I discovered the bombshell. I love dogs. I'm all about that dog life. I clicked over here. I started scrolling around. I think that's a cool little farmhouse. And holy shit, there's a fucking dog in Blender. Look at him. Look at it. There's a doggo. Blender. Blender doggo. Suzanne is not the only animal in Blender. So I started doing a little bit of research. I had to dig in. I had to figure out who's this dog? What is the history with this dog? So I did some investigation and it led me to this YouTube channel called Blender Diplom. Blender Diplom, put them in the description. And it led me to find out that owner of this dog's name is Greg Zoll. And apparently Greg submitted this HDR to HDR Haven containing his dog where he confessed that the doggo's name is Holly. And as of 10 months, she was 16 and spends most of her days snoring in the corner of his office. Guys, did you know that there was a dog in Blender and her name was Holly? You do now. My name's Josh Grambo. We got a box. We got a box! Call the bomb squad! I need a bomb squad! We got a box! I'm gonna subscribe. Every time you guys subscribe, a transformer punches a Decepticon in his dumb fucking robot face for you and me us blender <laughs>